Flex United stand with one by two goals to one against West Brom. Here, Adam, what do you make of that? Yeah, I mean, it's just scraped by in the end. We're very, very comfortable throughout the game. But I think in the whole game, there's just a lack of creativity. Um, we probably created three chances. There was the Lingard chance in the second half and the other two chances we took. But I thought West Brom were very, very poor. And overall, just to come away with scraping the win is a little bit concerning, even though happy with the three points. It's interesting you say West Brom were absolutely awful. They played like a team that's second bottom in the league. First half, we were, we were all over them, comfortable, not much to deal with. Second half, we gave them confidence. Yeah, I mean, that was it. I think we played it into their hands in the second half. It's not the first time this season that we've conceded from a set piece. Uh, it was pretty poor. I was actually quite surprised. Um, you, Luke, Young played, or Luke, Luke Shaw played quite well in the last two games. And then when he needed to bring on a, a left back, he went for Rojo. And I thought it kind of distorted the back four a little bit. But yeah, overall, I mean, it was uh, obviously happy with the three points, but not really happy with anything else. Yeah. Lukaku got his goal, didn't celebrate again. Do you think that's because he's at West Brom or because he's still not happy with his performances? Why, why, why do you think he didn't celebrate? I mean, to be fair, in the away end, the fans are not on his back. Um, I mean, it's a tough position. He's playing. He's very, very isolated up top. We don't have many wide players. I know Lingard is playing in behind, but we play quite deep and it's a thankless task. It's him and him with the back four there. So, yeah, I mean, why he's not celebrating, I don't know. He should be enjoying the goals. I think the fans are definitely on his side. Um, but, yeah, it, it's been tough for him. But overall, I mean, his tally of goals this season has been pretty impressive. So... I don't think he has anything to be too disappointed Pogba about. Lads. Pogba back next week. Uh, do we get back to carving teams open, open with Pogba back next week? Are we going to look stronger? Are we going to stop these teams having chances against us with him back? I mean, he makes all the difference, doesn't he? You can see when we're not playing today, we do lack that creativity. Um, obviously, Herrera and Matic are quite similar in some ways. Uh, but Pogba is just, he's a guy that will beat a player, cross the ball in, look for that uh, pass through over the top. I mean, today it's very, very side-to-side yeah, -side play. Go on, you know, um, you know, there's just a serious lack of creativity yeah, in the side, so he, he makes the difference. So the sooner he's back, the better, really, yeah. I've got to ask you, so I don't know if you saw the Manchester City team um, putting up videos um, singing part the bus, part the bus, Man United. Some of our fans are now starting to sing it, saying it's the Mourinho oh, way. Oh, what, do you, what, do you, what do you think? Do you think we just got to accept that? Or do you think, what do you, what do you make of it? I mean, look, I think we're, we're still suffering from the Fergie hangover, aren't we? You know, that's the problem, I suppose. We've all grown up watching... <laughs> we've all grown up watching 4-4-2, four, four, two, two wide wingers, fast attacking football. And I think probably, you know, we're a little bit spoiled in some ways. City are on an unbelievable run of form. And if they weren't, we'd actually be top of the league, I think, in any other given season. So, I mean, yeah, the performances are not what we're probably used to looking at. But we are improving, definitely. So it's been the best season since Fergie's left. So I think, obviously, the City team that are there, as much as it hurts me to say it, are just unbelievable at the minute. It's interesting you say that, you know, because on a different season, I know we can say if buts or maybes, but if City weren't playing as well, how you doing, fella? If, yeah, I'm good, man, I'm good. If City weren't playing as well as they were, you know, on a different... <laughs> <laughs> on a different on a different season we're top you know is it just a case of you know they're having a phenomenal season and we've what well, we've made improvements expensive Sam Allardyce oh that's a big comment yeah would you it is against them right open up attack them as players play with fear every single one of them look like the playing knowing that the one mistake away from getting dropped the game after that's the problem you know we've got the players Marshall's gonna be the Man United's Chelsea, Kevin De Bruyne, we're all going to sit there once he's left, ripping everyone apart, thinking we had him. But that cunt's not good enough. Expensive Sam Allardyce, that's all he is. Oh, that's a very interesting statement. I mean, that's what I mean. There's, there's, a mix, there's a mixed bunch of opinions. I mean, some people think Mourinho's not the man. Some people think he is. Some people just no, sit back and understand that that's the way he is. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's, what's your thoughts on Mourinho? Is he the right guy? I mean, who else is out there that we're going to get? I think if you if you were to look at, to go back three or four years ago and you had to ask who was a better fit for the club, I don't think both of us would have said Mourinho wasn't. We would have definitely went Guardiola. Uh, and I think the biggest issue with the United fans at the moment is probably City are playing the brand of football that, that we want to see. Yeah. see. And I think that's hurting Mourinho also. Um, so I think there's a combination of things. There's no doubt he's a good manager. Um, but again, it's just a different style of play, and we're not definitely probably used to watching though. it. Definitely, yeah. definitely needing to stay on the ship, like definitely, no doubt about it. But long term, I don't think, I don't. Think, Marino's in for two or three years. He's done all his career. I don't think he's going to stay long term. Who, who, who do you get? I, 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 it's like that thing of be careful what you wish for, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's easy to say Mourinho out, Mourinho this, but, you know, we we got to see. If you were there last year, you definitely would have said, before the start of the season last year, every, no, there's no doubt about it, every night you're would have said Mourinho. Do you know what I mean? Like, he stayed. Yeah, no, he <laughs> what do you think of that? We fucking won. We were shit second half, but we fucking won, didn't we? Go on the job, why were, why were we so poor second half, though? 
I don't fucking know, but we were shit. We was fucking shit. Mourinho. Oh, we fuck part the bus shit, yeah. It's attack, 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 yeah. Are we going to get that from Reno? Is he going to get us attacking? No. I don't fucking no. know, do I? That's not, I'm not the fucking manager. But Mourinho's won trophies, so... That's all I can say. Mourinho, we trust. Second half, we shouldn't have fucking defended like that. We were shit hey, second, second half. half but, hey, we, we were poor, we were fucking we poor. Oh, we won the fucking game, though. That's the trouble. Why is every cunt so fucking down? And that's it. It is, it is three points, isn't it? It is three points. But I think it's because, you know, this, this guy said, you know, we're used to the Fergie era. We're used to coming over and rolling these teams over. Why are we struggling? Everyone's used to the fucking Fergie era, but Fergie's gone. Mm. We're fucking United, yeah? We love winning. We fucking won. And as long as we're winning, it doesn't matter about the performance. The trophies. won two trophies, last, three trophies last year. So who gives a shit, yeah? As long as we win trophies this year, whatever. Got, that's what I was going to ask you, right? The league's gone. The league's gone. The league's gone. What, would, what would make it a successful season now? Fucking tough question. FA Cup and Champions League, innit? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's got to be, innit? Yeah. It's got to be Champions League. He's got to go for it. He's got to go for it. What do you think? What would make it a successful season now? Yeah, I mean, you have to. It's Manchester United. You're in any competition, you're in it to win it. Is you know, Mourinho has the tactics certainly to win the Champions League. I mean, this, these kind of tactics will work, but it's just the overall. I think you're not. We fucking won yet. Yeah. City might slip up over Christmas, but I can't see it. But yeah. we've got to keep that faith, haven't we? And we just keep winning our games, yeah. Yeah. We don't know how they're going to react to a loss yet as well. So when City do lose a game, how will they react to it? Yeah, they're a bit shaky. Like even in the last couple of games, they're winning by the odd goal here and there in the build-up to the derby. The derby's given them that extra push again. But um, people are saying they play poor in the second half. We don't know even poor in the first half. Too. No, it took us a while to create a chance, didn't it? Until the goal. Twenty-five minutes at most, at least before we were getting anywhere near creating a chance. Like, and then the goal came from nothing really. Like it wasn't even a good move, and it was just a you know, attack across there. I don't know about Lukaku, I really don't know about him. As in, you don't know if you can see him staying here long term, being a successful goal scorer, or getting big numbers on the board? Well, like, as Adam was saying, they are like, I know fans are on his back, but at the end, they, are like, they were really on his back at the end. Like, he was, like he was just, wasn't trying, like, wasn't getting back, wasn't defending properly, wasn't helping out the defence, like, you know? So, uh, I, who, who, like, I, Harry Kane is the first, he's the fellow who should have went for. Would you do that? If you, if you had 100 million to spend, it gets to summer. Would you put in 100 million for Harry Kane? Ah, 100 million, no problem. Bruce you won't get him. More. You won't get him for 100 million, though. No way, but he's top, I think he's top, top class, honestly. I really think he's top class. He's the fellow who would have went for in the summer anyway. 150 million, just pay the money for him. Like, money's not an issue for you, know. Like, just pay the money and, and get him in. Like. i just seen you uh, just turn up here. What did you make of uh, Romelu Lukaku today? Um, I mean, L L Lukaku was, was all right, and I mean, I mean, I like how, how he's on form now. So, I mean, we just, I just hope he keeps on doing his work and I mean we can be very successful and just make sure that we can. Do you think it's unfair the criticism he's, he's had? He's, he had a good start then he didn't score for a, a bit, of, bit of a barren spell then he's got back to scoring. Do you think that you know the fans are being too harsh on him or do you think no it's Manchester United you're going you're gonna to be criticised now it's not Everton and, and, it, and it's due? Yeah I mean for, 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 for the game I mean you, you can't be getting your games every day and I mean, as time goes on, he's going to pick up and I mean, he's going to be scoring more goals. And I mean, at the end of the day, I do appreciate his form now because coming from Everton to United and he's still doing well. I mean, the only thing is that he just keep going and I mean, he can be the, the goal king. I mean, and just keep on. Just keep on going, keep trusting him. I mean, that's what I mean. <laughs> he started well, he started well. He's not doing anything different to what he done at Everton. Million though, like he's, he's first touch. Adam is better first touching. You know what I mean? No, honestly. <laughs> no, but like his first touch is terrible. Like he doesn't hold up the ball enough. I, he just doesn't offer enough for me for 90 million. Like for what we paid from, like just doesn't offer enough up front. But as I said, like who do you go for then? Like you know. Honestly, I'd rather see Lukaku play as part of a pairing. I think he's the kind of striker that needs someone like Rashford or Martial playing directly up there with him. You know, but I, I can see him more as a deeper role with, with Martial or Rashford, the pace coming off him. Because even, even when he does get into that opportunities today, he did it. I linked up with Lingard once during the game. And you can see he's playing the ball in and he'll play the ball in again with pace. I think when he's up there on his own, the ball, he just holds the ball. And then, he, you know, there's no, there's no outlet for him. I think he needs to play with someone up top. Yeah, I think Zlatan, you know, he didn't come on today. Well, maybe because of the way the game went. But do you want to see him instead of Lukaku? Get Zlatan in, play them together? The only thing I see, like Manchester United, if we're relying on a 36-year-old to come back into the team, you know, yeah. to, to pick things up, it's worrying. Whatever about Zlatan, he's a short-term solution to, to a long-term problem that we've had. And I mean, we've had problems with strikers now the last number of years. Even like, obviously, Rooney was there long-term, but we've never really replaced him. I mean, we sold Berbatov, we sold Tevez, we sold Hernandez, and we never brought in replacements for those players. And I think it's really, really struggles. Even since, even in Ferguson's last season, um, we struggled for goals. We struggled for goals for a long, long time. 
So I think Zlatan was obviously the king last season, but going forward, Zlatan won't be there, and then you have to look at what else is there. I would rather see Martial or um, Rashford play a more central role. I think they're wasted on the wings. Yeah, I think they're wasted on the wings. Definitely Martial. I think he's like he scores goals, like you know, in fairness to him, like you know, and he's a bit like defensive, like like last week, say for instance, like like we had to win the game last week. No mind the draw, like and the, so defensive last week was unbelievable. I, know, I couldn't get over how defensive. We had to win the game, like draw's not good enough, and then he sits back the whole game. City dominate. And, you know, look, they're going to have more possession. Fair enough, like. But to sit back so far, like, like and, and then the minute they score the goal, you're like, oh no, here we go again. Like, they need, need scraped, scraped the win away at West Brom. Like, honestly, they're useless. They are so poor, it's unbelievable. Like. I know, we actually give them confidence, you know. On, on today's game, to, to sum it up, we're going to go for man of the matches. Who was your man of the match for today? I think Smalling was very good at the back for what he, when he had to do. I think if I was looking just from the play that we're keeping the team ticking, I think the important guy there today for me was Matic. I thought he was very good. I thought Ashley Young played well, but I'd probably I'd pick Matic for me. He's been consistent yeah, sevens and eights all season, isn't he? Yeah. Solid. Your man of the match? Uh, probably Mike Smalling, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mike did it right, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He did have a really good game, didn't he? Very well today. Anyway. And Jones, I thought Jones done okay as well. Yeah, Smalling, very good today. Matic, brilliant, brilliant again. He'd definitely be... Oh, Honestly, so cool on the ball, it's unbelievable, in fairness to him. But probably small, and just, yeah. just a bit small. All right, fellas, thank you very much for talking to us, man. Thanks, Cheers, take, take care, care. Take, take care, care man. Flexion United stand with one by two goals to one today uh, against West Brom. And what should have been a really, really comfortable afternoon. Um, but it wasn't in the end. Uh, first half, it took us a while to create. We were slow getting started. But um, as we grew into the half, the chances came and you know, Lukaku got the first goal for us. And, and from then, West Brom carried zero threat going forward. We were absolutely comfortable at the back, comfortable in midfield. And it was just a case of, can we go forward and get that second, which we did. Yes, huge luck on that uh, with Lingard's deflected shot. But it put us in 2-0, half-time. You're thinking, happy days. Let's go on and, and, and come out. Let's get the third. I tweeted um, you know, at half-time to say, you know, we need, we need more of the same here. Um, I'd like to see Zlatan on. Um, but it was a very indifferent uh, second half. We came out, we were sloppy, uh, we were second to, the, uh, to most of the, our balls, we, we wouldn't string passes together. We actually gave West Brom confidence, a team that's second bottom in the league. Um, and I know a lot of you will say, you know, why are you being so negative, Flex? It's three points. And it is three points, and, you know, that is always the main thing. And, and you know, I am for that. But to, to be hanging on like that or to give a team like that confidence, it's, it's unacceptable. And I think. You know, going forward, we can't we can't be doing that. On another day, we might concede towards the end there and get a draw. You know, we're 11 points behind City. We really can't afford any more slip-ups. You know, yes, the league is probably gone, but we want to do all we can to try and stay uh, to at least keep it 11 points. And, and we put that into, je into jeopardy today, into jeopardy. Um, I don't understand why. I mean, we should have just come out on the front foot, second half, and saw the game out and, and got that third and, and tried to push forward, but we didn't manage to do that today. Um, there were some good performances. Though. I mean, first half, we were so comfortable. I was really impressed with Matic. Um, he'd just been doing what he's been doing all season for us, which is playing a consistent seven eights, um, spraying the ball left, spraying the ball wide, um, to the right as well, bringing players into play. Chris Smalling, I thought, was absolutely brilliant. He was solid. He won all of his tackles. I can't remember him making a mistake. He played out from the back well. Um, Lingard, you know, he tried to get on the ball, tried to impose himself on the game. He got his goal. And Lukaku as well. Um, first half, definitely. Um, he tried. He, he, he held up the ball a little bit better than he has been in recent weeks. And he got his goal. Another really good header. Interesting that he didn't celebrate. Um, I've asked a few fans what they think. I mean, I think it's a little bit of... Uh, he is at West Brom. You know, he used to play for them. He had a good season here. A good couple of seasons here, I think it was. Um, and he did well. I don't know whether it's a bit of that. I don't know whether it's a bit of... He knows he should be playing well and he's just playing himself into form and he's still not quite happy with his performances. Or thirdly, he might not have celebrated because, you know, he thinks the fans are on his back and, and is a bit annoyed right now. It could have been any one of them three reasons, but um, he didn't celebrate and I'd like to see him start celebrating. I'd like to see him start getting his confidence up. Um, two goals on the bounce there and, and that was an important goal for us. You know, he got the first goal, which is the breakthrough. He got the winner in midweek. So he's starting to get those important goals. I mean, a lot of, uh, you know, the question marks over him is that, you know, you're winning 3-0 and Lukaku gets the fourth. He doesn't get those all-important goals. So he's done that two games on the bounce now. So there's no reason why he can't kick on from here and, and, and keep playing himself um, into the side and getting more confidence. I thought Matter was good today as well. He played well. Um, yes, he, got, he goes down as an assist for, for Lingard. It was a bit of luck. But apart from that, he did try to, to play. He was making forward passes. He was getting into pockets of space, as Matter does. So I was, I was very impressed with him. Um, I'm just really disappointed in terms of the second half. I just, like I said, we can't be so strong in the first half against a team that's second bottom in the league and, and, and give them confidence in the second half. You know, I mean, even the goal, 
set piece again. You know, really, really scrappy goal. It, it was, it was sad to see, annoying to see. But we go on. We got Leicester next. Will be another tough, tough away game. Um, yes, we got the midweek uh, Carabao Cup against Bristol. I think we'll be comfortable in that. Um, you know, Leicester had a bad game against Palace yesterday, so they'll be looking to. Um, to, to bounce back from that so it'll be another tough away game and we need to we need to be at the races and I think we will Pogba will be back then a lot of fans reckon he's going to be the, the key to, to breaking teams down again on a more consistent basis so thanks for watching guys it wasn't the best second half performance but it's three points and on we go the gap still remains 11 points and for you optimistic fans as you may say the title race may still be on but others may think differently um, drop your comments, as, uh, comments in the box I want to see what you guys think of today's performance thanks for watching